welcome back to my video and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please just go ahead click on the subscribe button it's only gonna take you a second and just hit the thumbs up because you're gonna learn some pretty amazing things today so um, today we're gonna be working on the full detail page and um, it's actually a pretty interesting page because this is where we are gonna be able to place an order right but not for now just implemented the design so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the main storyboard okay and uh, we're gonna need to add a new view controller right here so just um, hold down command shift and L and type in view controller as soon as you figure out how to get your O to come up alright so now we have our um, controller so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a uh, first let's actually change the color of the background and we're going to use pretty much the same color we used for uh, the other page. Is this it? I guess so. Yep. So um, now we're going to add a, a UI image view, which is going to go all the way to the top and all the way down, right? Now, before we add constraints, I'm going to add a stack view over here. And this is going to be a vertical stack. All right. And our vertical stack is going to have this constraint. So it's going to be 16 like this, 16, 16, and 16. All right. Now this guy is going to have constraints 0, 0, 0. Perfect. Now there's a lot of issues here because, um, well, I don't know how to explain it, but one of them need to have a, a definite height. If, I, if that makes sense. So anyhow, what we need to do is in our stack view, we're going to add a because what, what we want to have is a title and the calories at the right. So I'm going to use another stack view, but this time it's going to be a horizontal stack. All right. Now in our horizontal stack, we have two labels. So I'm just going to drag in a label right there. And you can see that it already fixes that. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate the label because we want two. Perfect. Now for this guy, I'm going to give it a fixed width of about 100. And this is going to hold our um, calories. So this, the text color is going to be red. And want to align this to the right. Perfect. Now, uh, because the calories may be more, or just to be safe, we're going to add, um, we're going to make this to get to like minimum font size. So if the text gets to the edge or the limits of the constraint, it just you know reduces the size a little bit. Now, um, for this guy, I'm going to increase this to maybe around 20 and make it a little bit bolder because this is our title. Ah, let's use semi-bold. Perfect. So now we have this guy all set up. The next thing we want to do, oh yeah, before I forget, we're going to make this guy multi-lined. So it could grow. If the title is long, then it should it should you know go to the next line. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a label for the description. So um, I'm gonna bring this guy up because I want to add it to the bottom of this. So label, click and drag it right here. Perfect. Now this is gonna have a font of maybe around 15. And we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's actually just add some text because I want to see how this guy wraps. All right. I'm so lazy to write something meaningful. But I'm going to make this zero. And I want this guy to actually have a little bit more spacing for uh, the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the label. And rather than using a plain text, I'm going to change this to attributed. All right. I don't know if you've used it before, but uh, it just gives us more flexibility on how we want to style our label. So uh, for that, I'm going to click on, um, what am I going to click on? No, I don't want color. What am I clicking? Where are you, man? I don't know what I'm looking for. Actually, what I'm looking for should be over here. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Xcode is just messy, man. Gosh. So um, this is what I was trying to find. So um, right here, what we want to do is we're going to set the um, spacing to be, well, is it spacing or line height? Four. Ah, it's too much. 
0. Let's just set the spacing to be 4. All right, so this is what we wanted. All right, so um, I really don't know. X Cody, you guys, you guys work on this, man. Okay, so um, yep, we have that right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of spacing to the collection view, sorry, the stack view itself. So click on the stack view, the vertical stack, and we're gonna add spacing of about 16 pixels. Okay, great, awesome. So let's go ahead and change the text color as well. So this should be text color, I believe. Yep. So we're going to click on that. And we want to use the uh, light gray. I don't know how we're going to find it like this. Um, maybe let's do something else. Let's take this back to plain. And we're going to use system gray color just for consistency. So let's go back to attributed text. And yes, that remains. And this bad boy is showing over here. So we're going to make this four. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so this looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text field that we're going to use to collect the uh, name of the person that's placing the order, right? So simple enough, just say text field, click and put that guy right at the bottom. And this text field, well, I just did text field. Sorry, just drag a text field instead right there. And this guy, we're going to give a height of about. 50 like that and we're going to give this guy a placeholder saying enter your name perfect 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 perfecto all right so uh finally we're going to add a button that we're going to use to place the actual order so this button is going to have a text color of white and is going to have a background color of um, something dark. Is this our color? I guess so. I hope so. So we're going to use the height of 50. And this is going to simply say place order. Perfect. Now, finally, this guy is going to have a, a what? Corner radius of 10. Sweet. Now, we're done with this. We have finished implementing this guy. Um, next, we're going to need to, you know, create a reference to a particular class. So what we're going to do is head over to our views. And this time around, we're going to be creating a new folder, which is going to be called dish detail. All right. And we're going to create a new Cocoa Touch class. This time it is going to be a UI view controller. And this is going to be dish detail. We don't need a nib because we designed it in a storyboard. Then, now that we have that, we're going to need to connect this guy to the storyboards view controller as soon as it comes up. So head over to the top, click right here, systems acting out. And uh, here we're going to say dish detail, copy that, and we're going to set that again as the storyboard ID. Perfect, 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 perfect. So the next thing we're going to do over here is we're going to create um, a reference to all of the items we have over here, right? So uh, the first thing here is our what? And actually, no, uh -huh. I thought something felt strange. So this guy. So this is going to be our dish image view. Next, we have this, which is going to be like our dish title or a title label. Then uh, we have the calories label. We have description label, oh, I missed the spelling, description, let's change that, oh, this, like this, did you connect, new reference to here. 
perfect. And um, we're also going to need for our name field, name field, and finally our order button. And we really don't need an outlet for this because we're not going to be, you know, we're not trying to change anything, the property or anything, or get any information from the button. The only thing we need is the action. So I'm just going to create an action like this and say um, place order button clicked. So you want a button. All right. So we have all our outlets created. So the next thing we want to do is whenever a user clicks on a particular dish, special dish or a popular dish, we want to open up this page and display that particular image or that particular um, dish, right? So pretty much populate the field. And we're going to do that in the next video. So just so we don't have, uh, we don't keep this video too long. All right. See you guys next time. Yay!